Be honest. Were you sober when you watched this movie? Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, another review of a Netflix film for me here, and I'm actually just, I'm still in awe that I watched it, but hey, I... This is my review for Troll. You guys remember how hokey the Roland Emmerich Godzilla film back in 1998 was? Well, imagine if it was done in a modern day by Norwegians, and it's about a troll. This is actually a movie. Aside from the previous uh, comparison I did, the best way I can describe it is that they wanted to make their own Godzilla movie, and they did it in probably the most basic, most by-the-numbers, cookie-cutter, absolute copy-and-paste way imaginable. Every single character in this film, aside from being a Norwegian double for a lot, I feel like the main character is a Norwegian version of Kate Hudson, her dad is the Norwegian version of Randy Quaid, both in craziness and uh, Independence Day character comparison. The military guy is a Norwegian version of Stephen Amell. Every single beat in this story is from every single Godzilla movie you've seen. This is from every single monster movie you've seen. Nothing has any form of originality except for the fact that there's a big fucking troll in this movie. <laughs> Even when the conspiracies of this movie start to appear, they're conspiracies from other movies you've seen. It's baffling just how easy this movie is to predict. You're gonna feel like a fucking genius watching this movie because you're gonna be able to see everything coming from a mile away. However, that doesn't actually discredit the movie at all. It actually just makes it a little bit more enjoyable especially if you're not sober. When the troll actually gets first introduced, it is very similar to that of the scene. I feel like it's almost a direct shot for shot comparison scene from Roland Emmerich's Godzilla with his eye opening up and then just rising up. I was super surprised. And considering the CG is absolutely dog shit in a lot of parts in the movie, the troll itself, when it does appear, is actually quite good. Hell, he has more fucking screen time, I think, than Godzilla in the 2014 film did, so that's also an A+. But as the film goes on, it just gets hokier and hokier, and it just gets more and more cliche, like Norwegian Stephen Amell does a speech that, I kid you not, is not anything specific. It is actually just the description of what a good speech would be. He is saying the blandiest things of all time and they get blander and blander, and everyone gives a bland hurrah, and he's like, let's go get him blandy. The, everyone is trying their goddamn hardest to be serious in this. Remember when those terrible Asylum movies were all the rage? Imagine if one of them actually got a decent budget. That's what this movie is. So at the end, I'm gonna give Troll a 2 out of 7. It's, it's still something you should see, just at least to say, hey, I watched that. I can't say it was a good time, but hey, I saw it. I was willing to watch this. Uh, <laughs> I'm still in awe that I did, to be honest, because it, it pfft, I would recommend it as a good drinking game, good just getting buzzed with your buddies, having a, having a smoke, and then just coming in and having a good giggle. You're gonna have at least one giggle. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Have you guys seen this movie? Please let me know. Please let me know if you have, because I'd love to shit talk this movie, but also just love to have some good humor about this movie and what your guys' funny experiences were. If you liked the video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Till then, guys, see you next time.